This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waharakakodash, Brakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here preaching this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe. That may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations, but if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite, if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, we started off with the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. All right, stand on e head. All right, you are not going to get away with touching the apple of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's eye, which are the Israelites. All right. You you put us in captivity and have us in captivity till this day. All right. And we are the saints. All right. The Israelites are the saints. Um, this Let's go to the book of Psalms. Uh, chapter... 148 and verse 14. Uh, we'll start at verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn, which is the strength of his people. All right. His is possessive. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So, Khan, all of the mistreatment that has been done to us, all right, it's going to come back on to you. All of you nations, first and foremost, the top nation of the heathens, Esau, Edom. Okay, let's go here. To the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. And it reads. Therefore. All they that devour thee. Shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries. Every one of them. All 17 of you heathen nations. Shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee. And all they. So like and all that prey upon thee. Will I give for a prey. That's right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to give you to us for a prey, all right, for recompense, all right? Um, let's go here to the book of 2 Thessalonians. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6, and it reads, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High Yahweh. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right. So tribulation is coming to those that have troubled us. Tribulation is stronger than trouble. So that proves that you're going to get double for all that you have done to the nation of Israel. All right. Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Let's go here. This is going to be. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. And it reads, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. 
All right, so yeah, slaughter is coming to you, E, as well as you other nations, all right, as well as your children. You're going into captivity for what you have done to the nation of Israel. Let's grab this preset right here. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 9, and we'll grab verse 6. Let me highlight this. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of the Most High Yahweh may he man. All right, so whoso, whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. All right, hey, it's a the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Shai is all about a fair balance, man. All right, you, you have destroyed. Our children and unalived our children, the same is going to happen to you all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. All right, let's grab this. Uh, Khan, this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Because everything that's going to come upon you from the hands of the children of Israel, all right, of the nation of Israel, it's going to be because of, it's because of the Lord. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, all right, his righteous anger, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right. The nation of Israel is a people near unto the heavenly father. How about Shem Shai? Okay. And you um, nations, all right, made him jealous by touching the apple of his eye. Okay. Let's go here. This is going to be the book of Colossians chapter 3. In verse 25, and it reads, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. All right, so that's there's no respect of persons with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai, with the nation of Israel, and there's especially none for you other heathen nations. And see, Esau, Edom, and you other nations. Y'all don't think that y'all going to uh, receive any type of punishment, all right? But the, you've already been judged by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai. Now he's just waiting upon his time to uh, bring upon the punishment, all right, of that judgment, okay? So you know what? Let me see. Uh, yeah, we'll grab one more uh, preset. No, you know what? We'll close. We'll close out with that. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Wahavakakodash Brakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. As well as you, I can, that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.